Hi and welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and US citizen and today we're comparing a very important part of UK and US houses, the front door. Seriously, we're just the just the front door, not the front of the house, not the internal doors, not UK versus US house differences where someone's like UK houses are smaller than US houses and we're like, duh, we know. We're literally just talking about the front door. So if you're not into digging into the fascinating world of like deadbolts, screen doors, building materials, um, and some misguided beliefs about American front doors, then shut this video off now, save yourself the trouble. But if you're along for the ride, then let's get started. Okay, so at first glance, if you look at a UK front door and a US front door, they look like an exterior door. And honestly, most people will never give the differences a second thought, but we are not most people here, are we? There are actually seven major differences between a standard UK front door and a standard US front door, which I'm gonna be honest is a lot more than I thought I could find for this video, so here we go. Okay, first difference, the size of front doors. Front door sizes do vary between houses. This is an obvious statement, so don't go like measuring your front door in whatever country you're in to prove me wrong or do and comment below. I don't mind. We do acknowledge here as a community, different houses may have slightly different door sizes. However, let's talk about the standard front door sizes because we can more easily compare that. The standard US front size, front size door, the standard US front door size, there we go, is slightly bigger than the UK standard front door size. In the US, the standard size is 80 inches by 36 inches, and I found that on a site called doorinmore.com, so obviously completely trustworthy. We love a rhyme. Um, in contrast, in the UK, the standard door size is about 78 inches by 33 inches, and I am so sorry to my British audience who don't measure things in inches, but sometimes I need to take liberties with this channel and make it easier for myself to picture, so like, comment the millimeters or centimeters below if you feel like it. But there we can see whether we measure in inches or other things, um, an American standard front door is just slightly bigger than a UK standard front door. Now let's go on to building materials. What is in the door? What's the door made of? The first thing that I noticed when comparing doors in my home state of Florida to doors in the UK was that the UK ones have always felt heavier and sturdier. And that is really what prompted my belief that this could become a video because I thought there's something there. Our doors are different, but how? So I'm not a door expert, don't know if you knew that, but um, I consulted the internet yet again and found that according to associatedwindows.co.uk, the four most common types of door within the UK are UPVC, aluminum, timber, and composite. Probably they said aluminum, but I'm saying aluminum here. They also have a really good chart to show us the different types and how they rank for various factors, so I will put that up now, have a look. Based on their beliefs and the results of this chart, timber is probably the least suitable for most UK homes. Timber rots easier and is prone to warping and swelling, which makes them less efficient insulators as time goes on. It's not a good thing for the UK, thus meaning it's safe to say that many front doors in the UK are made from other, stronger materials as shown in the chart. In the US, however, according to my research from USA front door websites, such as buildwithfifth.com and pillow.com, wood is the most commonly used material to build front doors in many parts of the US. The reasons why are it's budget friendly, it is naturally energy efficient, and it can be used in a variety of home styles. Other materials like steel and fiberglass are also used. I'm not saying every single American front door is made of timber, but again, it is much more common in the US than it is in the UK. And if you compare the building materials suggested for front doors on these different websites in different countries, you'll notice that wood is at the top of the suggestions list for the US website, well, at the bottom of the suggestions list for the UK website, and we will get into a little bit more on why that is in the next section. Moving on to differences in door insulation. The differences in climate account for a lot of the different needs of the building materials and the insulation and front doors. 
In the UK, a changeable and relatively damp climate means that often insulation is needed and it's used to try and keep the cold out of the home and keep the heat in. So this means things like thermal breaks and draft seals are often built into the construction of the front door as this is like a big line of defense within the home against the cold and against the wet. In the US, not in all states, but in many. This is less of a concern based on the climate and weather. And actually many homes will have doors that are built to bleed the heat out rather than keep it inside. Now our next difference is the porch. And I did promise this was gonna be a video just about front doors, but we do need to understand like a little bit of context about the front door and what's surrounding it. And that has to do with the porch. While there are some UK homes with porches, I'm not saying I've never seen one here because I have, many UK doors open straight out into the elements without covering. This is relatively uncommon in suburban America. Many American homes are built with porches and I'm not talking like it has to be the world's most extravagant, biggest screened in luxurious porch or anything like that, but it's just typically an area that overhangs the front door usually. To get an idea for what I mean, I looked up American house and I looked up British house and here are a bunch of pictures of what comes up as the kind of standard, um, the standard house in each country. So you can see the American ones have typically porches on the front and the UK ones typically don't. Obviously then the porch is going to offer a little bit of protection surrounding the front door from the weather, which could be another explanation of why UK front doors are sturdier and built to be sturdier than in the US. Now let's move on to screen doors because someone posted an interesting question on Quora, uh, which is why do American front doors on TV and movies have a second door attached to them that seems to close when one opens? Behold, people of the internet, this is the screen door. I've never seen one in the UK, but they're very common in America and they essentially act as an extra barrier to bugs or animals coming into the house. In warmer climates, particularly in the South, um, this is just a door shaped frame with a screen fabric in the center. And so that means you can leave the main door open to get airflow into the house from outdoors without worrying about mosquitoes or other insects coming in with it. Another type of second door that you might see is called a storm door, which is used in colder climates and can add an extra layer of insulation to the door. So now we see that perhaps in America, the door itself might not be as sturdy, but in climates that need it, we're adding an extra door because we're like, oh, the, the main door isn't good enough. So we need some extra insulation. Um, then there's also the combination type door, which has options to put in either a screen for the warmer months or glass in the colder months. Now, not every American front door has this feature, but it's not uncommon or unheard of where I would say it's uncommon in the UK. The reasoning on this again seems simple as well. More insulation is built into the sturdier UK door in general. Um, and when it comes to kind of the insect problem, the insect levels in the UK are not as high in most places compared to most places in the US. Okay, let's take a quick break. This video is not sponsored. This is not a sponsorship break. This is just a, like a quick break for us because we've been talking about uh, doors for like 10 minutes. So hi, how are you? Um, I'm really glad that most people have been enjoying these new types of videos that I'm doing. I really appreciate you watching. Um, I would always love suggestions on future topics to cover like this because, I mean, we can get real specific. Um, we can keep going, but I would love to hear your thoughts on maybe smaller things you've noticed that you'd like me to cover, um, or I'll just do more videos on cardboard, whatever works. So anyway, take a breather. We're going to continue talking about doors. We are coming to the end, but yes, thank you very much for watching. Let's continue. Okay, so let's talk about letterboxes. Letterboxes or mail slots are where the mailman or postman in the UK drops off the mail directly through the front door, which is extremely popular in the UK. This is like the main way to get your mail here. It is dropped directly into your house. When you're doing something else, you forgot the mail's coming. So it like lands with a thud and you jump a thousand feet in the air because, uh, it scares you, it kind of sounds like someone's breaking in. Maybe that's just me. In the US, it is incredibly uncommon to have a letterbox built into the door. You might find it in cities, but most Americans will not have one. Why is this? Because most people, particularly in suburban and rural areas, 
have a mailbox that's at the end of the driveway where the mail gets delivered. Thus, there's no need for a slot in the door for anything to be put through. So flyers, leaflets, pamphlets from the community, junk mail, regular mail, it all goes into the mailbox, not into a letterbox built into the door. Now, one final difference when it comes to UK and US front doors has to do with the locks. It's a really important one because it's very easy in the UK to lock yourself out on accident. This is more easily done in the UK because of the type of locks often used on a front door. Typically, a lot of UK front doors will have what's known as a Yale lock, and this lock will automatically lock when the door is closed for security reasons. Again, this isn't every single door, but it is much more common in the UK. So this means that if you leave to go outside to do something and the door slams behind you, there's no getting back in unless you have the key. But in my example, you're locked out because you didn't have the key. In the US, many doors have something, I don't know the technical term because honestly, I was researching it and I kind of got glazed over looking up front door locks. So someone educate me. Um, but most of the houses I have lived in have a front door lock that does not automatically lock behind you. You have to close the door, put the key in yourself and actually lock it to make sure that it is locked. So if you leave the house, door slams for some reason, it's not gonna lock behind you, you're not locked out. Um, this is arguably less secure, but for somebody like me who definitely tends to be the kind of person who would lock myself out, maybe a better option. Now this isn't necessarily a difference, but there was an interesting misconception about American front doors that I came across while researching this video. And that was someone asking if it was true that most American front doors open to the living room rather than a hallway or entryway. They said, I've seen it mostly in sitcoms over the years, growing up with Married with Children, Roseanne, Seinfeld, and leading over into Friends, That 70s Show, etc. Um, they said that where they're from, all houses have a hallway so that when you open the front door, you don't get a cold draft into the entire living room and the person at the door isn't really able to see everything going on in the living room. And they wanted to know, is this something that's just on TV or is this how most American houses are built? So the answer to this is that yes, there are some open plan style American houses where you could open the front door straight into the living room, but typically this won't be the case. Typically there will be some sort of hallway or foyer as we would call it in the US. Um, and the reason that it's depicted in basically all like American TV shows, particularly sitcoms, is for the camera. So anything filmed on a set will try to minimize hallways and foyers to make it easier for the camera to get around. And particularly on TV shows like the ones they mentioned where they use the set over and over again, Again, they're not gonna burden themselves by building a hallway. So yes, it is common across American TV houses that you sort of just open the front door, the whole family's in the living room, and you know you can just immediately start the scene. Most American houses do have some sort of dedicated entryway rather than just opening into the living room. So there you have it, American front doors versus UK front doors. I hope you can sleep better tonight knowing what you know now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.